like to do is solve this problem by using, uh, let's see, it wants me to use the square root property. Oh, I guess I do the square root property. Okay, uh, so I need to solve this equation by using the square root property. So this is actually square. So what I need to do is um, I need to first isolate this variable. So the first thing I do is I can get rid of the 7. So to get rid of the 7, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use subtraction property of equality. And what that pretty much says is I can subtract the 7 on both sides. And remember, I want to get everything away from this y. So I have y minus 4 squared equals a negative 7. Well, now I have to, before I can get rid of this 4 inside there, that's inside the parentheses. So I have to get rid of my, um, my uh, power. To get rid of this power, I need to take the square root of it. Okay. So since I'm squaring this 2, I need to take the square root of both sides. All right. So therefore, it's going to give me y minus 4 is now equal to the square root of a negative 7. Now, we know we can't take the square root of a negative number. There's no number that can multiply um, by itself to give you a negative number. So therefore, I can rewrite this as y minus 4 equals, um, all right, i square root of 7. Then the last part is now, since I've received that, and remember, when you're taking the square root, this is all one term. So you can't take the square root of y and the square root of 4. It's all one term you're taking. This, you're canceling out you're canceling out the square and the square root, okay? So you're just left with y minus 4. A lot of students want to take the square root of y and make it 4. Can't do that. Here, then I can just add my 4. So therefore, my final answer by using the square root property, ooh, I forgot one last thing. When you ever take the square root, right, whenever you take the square root aside, this is going to be your plus and minus. Please make sure you guys remember that, all right? Um, and there, therefore, I would rewrite this as... 4 plus or minus i, uh, actually I'd write this as the square root of 7i. Because I'm going to want to write it in complex or in standard form, which is uh, a plus bi. So therefore the final answer, make sure you have the plus or minus, that's huge. And also make sure you have the i, because we don't deal with negative, set, negative numbers, square rooting negative numbers. Um, and therefore it's y equals 4 plus or minus square root of 7i. And the reason why... This is what we call standard form of a complex number. Okay, well that's your real, and these are your imaginary parts, so that's how you want to write it at the end.